UC tuition is going to be raising to 81% in the next four years. That's going to be like $22,000 to go to a public system. Wait a minute, did you say 81%? 81% in the next four years. we're seeing today? I think it's, it's fabulous because we're unifying. It's, it's a community of calm, of calm and precise. We might not all agree. That's why this, this voting process, but at the end of the day, we know that we want to change in our education. It does take a long time, but it, it makes everything, I don't know, feel more, I don't know, united that we're all working together and voting together instead of somebody just like deciding for us. Do you think that they're making sure that everyone's voice is being heard? It's like, with the circumstances that we're being put in by the cops not letting us be in our own capital building, mm -hmm. I think it's going great. I mean, we just have to know that patience is key when we want something to come, but I don't mean patience at all. Let's put another year, let's put another day. I mean, patience within our community to listen to each other. Mike, check! Mike, check! Two 
that makes them feel better to arrest me to say that they protected me from somebody because I look violent. Well, then let it be. But I will be here and I will speak the word of my fellow students, which is true. That's all it is. Let's start talking. And our direct action like did result in us getting things that we wanted. We rallied and protested because a week before classes were to start, how many classes were cut? A 90, week before school? 90 plus classes. And we scared the president of our college into the library. He went and hid. We all came to the board of trustees meeting. We spoke our truth. And how many classes did they did they give did they give us? They at least brought back 40 short-term classes. So if you go out there and you do the work, things can change. 